What's going on everybody? Adam here and welcome back to another episode of The Naughty Escape. Today I want to do a before and after transition on this new Ribala R272. We're going to put a wrap around the whole thing, advertising for The Naughty Escape. I do want to give a huge shout out to TrailerGuidePulls.com for hooking us up with these. I think it took about three days from the time that I sent them the design that I wanted. Great communications even over text message, email, whatever is convenient for you, they will work with you. So we're going to head over to Leesburg to Hunter's Designs and uh, give this whole bad boy a new makeover. So if y'all are ready, let's go. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. We are here at Hunter's Design right here in Leesburg, Florida. We are dropping off the Rebalo R272. I wanted to show one last look of what it's gonna look like before. And a couple days later, we will come back and we will see the finished product on this thing. So if you guys are ready, let's do it. It's been a few weeks since we got the boat. Absolutely, Justin did an amazing job on this thing. Night and day difference. There's a couple pros and cons to this and we'll go through this in just a moment. But first, let's see what this bad boy looks like. <laughs> Some of the issues of having wrap, of course, is they don't last long. Maybe five to seven years if you keep it under cover, and that's if you take prestigious care of it. However, I don't know if you can see this right here. I barely touched the dock, and it's already chipping. I've only had this for a couple weeks. Being out on the salt water, having these guide on poles uh, coming up and down the trailer with it being dry going up there is gonna cause some issues. I don't know how long this is gonna last. Uh, just for being out in the ocean and doing what I do, you see a lot of bass boats, you know, they don't have to deal with nearly as much as uh, some of these bigger boats and going out in the ocean. But either way, we'll do a six month follow up on this. We'll do a one year follow up on this just to see where it's at with the wrap. Uh, one of the things that you need to notice is, as you can see, it just fades all natural looking to this, where you can't even tell. Got a little fishy hook there. We didn't even know that was on there. So actually pretty awesome. Got all the fish on here. But always look, this is where the wrap ends. There's like this clear silicone glue on there. One of the main things, and he said, just keep a huge eye on is make sure there's no chips on there because as you're going fast throughout the water, if any water gets under here, it could rip the entire wrap right off and then you can spend a few thousand dollars on, well, absolutely nothing. But so far I'm absolutely happy with it. Hopefully it does uh, well. Maybe even just driving down the road, we'll get some more subscribers, more some followers on TikTok. But uh, let's go get this bad boy out on the water. And I hope you guys enjoy. Have a good one. 